with over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martel Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Overtude, episode four. I am the voice, Mr. Flex, and right along with me is my co-host and partner in crime, Fire Ember. And we are here to bump you up. Oh, sorry. So anyways. <laughs> We're here so to party. Yeah, that's what I meant. So here's how the show works. Overtude is an inside look at your favorite wrestling superstars. What motivates them? Where did they come from? And what does the future hold? Now, before we get into the rest of the context of the show, fire. Oh, my God. That was an amazing match you had recently. And, folks, if you're wondering why fire is all beat up, well... Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a it's been a while a while that Barbie has been has been picking on me and bullying me. And well, last night she well she challenged me, so last night we had our fight. Didn't go quite as good as I expected, but I think I knocked her around a little bit. And of course, you know my savior, Maya Muerta, you know, helped me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Barbie will get hers. Hey, whatever happened, you got the dub, girl. That's, That's awesome. Right, right on. <laughs> All right. Wear my bruises <laughs> with pride. So, we have an amazing show for you today. We have two great guests today. And they have brought along their managers as well. So I can't believe that. <laughs> You let that stooge, slimy little witch, Sabrina, into this building. I, I don't know, Flex. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, um, take a deep <laughs> breath. Have a I can't control. because I can smell her out here. God. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we have amazing guests on the show today <laughs> who I think are the talk of the town at the moment. For sure. That's for sure. So, before we introduce our first guests, we have some highlights that we would like to take a look at from Attitude. Go ahead and roll that footage. Venna's opponent is about to step out and she stands at 5 foot exactly weighing 120 pounds. Hailing from Birmingham, UK, yes, my side of the pond, she is Miss Danny, the Dominatrix. And of course, her lackey to be <laughs> This is Danny's domain. This is where, oh, and a Yakuza kick. This is where she shines and doing every dirty, nasty, evil tactic in the book. Is watching her opponent, following along. She's waiting for an opportunity. And a nip Ooh. up head scissors. Oh, look who's coming. It is it. Fire. 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 Wish. Fire. Wish. Oh, come on, fire girl. That means if she's putting the drink down. Oh, oh. Go fire. Wow. What an amazing match. I mean, that was the first time that we even saw fire in action. That was crazy. Chaos ensued. There was magical brooms involved. Wow. I mean, me and Wish just did not think it was fair what they were doing to Venna. And then so the moment Sabrina decided to stick her big nose into the match, we did what we told Venna we were going to do. You know, and I think I got a few really good hits in on the witch. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, without further ado, 
How about we bring out our guests who hail from Attitude? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. please put your hands together and welcome Danny the Dominatrix with Sabrina. The Stooge. All right, all right. We got Danny and Sabrina. Welcome to the show. Now, Danny is our extreme women's champion. Welcome to the show. Well, on behalf of Danny, she thanks you. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. So, Danny, what can you tell us about you? Like, what led you to Premier Wrestling? So, growing up in England, she left school with average grades at the age of 16. Drifting in and out of a few dead-end jobs, she found herself sharing a flat with a local fitness club, the Dominatrix. Well, one time, the Dominatrix takes Danny to the club to assist, as she's not feeling her the best. And it turned out that Danny was quite the natural, becoming a sought after mistress so a while back she was working in a fetish club as a dom a and uh there she uh found a uh guest who requested a little bit more of a rough treatment uh so like you know getting kicked down the stairs you know uh so it was about this time that she started doing she started going to the gym and took up boxing, and while at the gym, she bumped into one of her club regulars who suggested that she might like to try wrestling, you know, and uh, it was a while researching local wrestling shows, and she found Premier Wrestling, so uh, she joined the training program, and, well, the rest is history. Wow. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And, I mean... You know, that's one thing about Premier Wrestling. We have a super awesome training program. I mean, you, you can take somebody that has no background whatsoever and turn them into yeah. a superstar. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Flex, I just want to say, personally, um, thank you for finally having Miss Danny and I on the show this week. You know, I've been itching to come out here and say our piece. You know, especially after Kia called me a blabbermouth and she was talking shit about Miss Danny the way she did. If the shoe fits. So, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that we finally get to have a chance to respond to such allegations. Okay. Yeah, she no, still no won't shut up, so blabbermouth it is. Hey, you know what? I'm here on okay. your talk show. So, Danny. You are, of course, the current extreme women's champion. What does that mean for you? Like, like, what is that like? Well, as I'm speaking for Danny, right now, you know, not to brag or anything, but she happens to have already achieved far more in SL wrestling than she had first intended. You know, she's the current women's 
extreme cha women's champion. You know, she could quit right now and be happy. Or, you know, so she told herself. Right. Holding the title paints a target on your back. And it seems everyone wants a shot. And they're getting increasingly desperate to find it. To, to take it from her, you know. Uh, but she won't give it up that easy. And y'all better be ready to and fight dirty to take it from her. You know, the mid-season finale just shows how desperate the Kraken and the Genie are. You know, we're, we're sure Rebel only popped up to stake her claim on the title. So, um, it looks like we won't be getting very many Christmas cards from the roster this year. Ooh. Damn. Like <laughs> you ever did. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Fire, did, did you have a question? I do have a question for Miss Danny herself. When are you going to get a real professional manager like myself and, you know, get rid of this dude who is just an amateur? Hey, you know what? She says make her an offer. So, while that hurts my feelings, I get where she's coming from. But, um, you know what? I still don't think you could cut it. You couldn't do what I do. Um, says the person that actually went out and wrestled last night. And oh. kicked your ass last Monday. Hey. So, right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Ladies, ladies, look. Mm. You guys still got a beef. Take it to the ring. I will pay money to see that. But we, we, we still got a... We will be brought to the, the ring. Here. Yes, it will <laughs> be. Bring it to the ring. You got to dispute you, that. You know what, though? I got her that title. Um, I don't see any of your clients with the title you yet. She needed to get it. Hey, you know what? I did what I had to do. Uh-huh. Either way, she's got a belt and none of your clients does. So, Miss Danny, um, I'll, I, I, I'll give you my card. You know, think it over. We okay. can get together. Okay, and with that, okay, let's agree to disagree and, and, and sort that out later. We still have a shout it out. <laughs> I will be very respectful. Thanks. That's a first. <laughs> fire, fire, come on, come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a mojito, it's going to be all right. Yeah, go, go ahead. Drink up, party girl. <laughs> so, now that we got to know a little bit more about you, Danny, do you have a message for your fans? Um, she does, actually. She says, don't be afraid to be who you are. And don't let anyone hold you back or tell you that you're not good enough. Or you're too small. Or you're too big. Or you're too straight. Or you're too vanilla. You know what? Stay true to yourself. And don't put yourself down. Plenty of others are lining up to take shots at you. So don't do their job for them. If you have to bend a few rules to achieve that. Well, why the fuck not? It worked for Miss Danny and it worked for me. Damn, that was deep. Wow. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much to Danny the Dominatrix, our extreme women's champion, and Sabrina. Thank you so much for being on the show. And uh, absolutely, you know, I'm glad that I that I was able to have you on here. I know you wanted to set the record straight when we had talked backstage and stuff. And oh yes, and that's you. not the only one I have to set the record straight with. <laughs> yeah okay well that's gonna be another time <laughs> we still we still have the rest of the show to do but we would invite you to go ahead and, and stick around if you want um we're gonna go ahead absolutely and yeah awesome cool we're gonna go ahead and break for commercial but when we come back we are gonna have somebody else that's being talked about right now now, we're talking about Chris Hollywood and Barry, but we're going to go to commercial. See ya when we get back. 
With over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martel Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Overtude. I hope you guys are excited because our next guest hails from Overload. And he had the opportunity to have a little rematch this week. It was awesome. And he got the dub. But before we call him out, why don't we take a look at some of his highlights. Roll that footage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to uh, the stage area in the back there. We're talking about Barry. My client is ready to unleash his arsenal of submissions on Mr. Stark this evening. Standing at 6'6", weighing in at 260 pounds and hailing from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, here is Chris Hollywood. Wow, Chris Hollywood. Right away, they're shoving each other. <laughs> this is a wrestling Into match. A lock up. A shove match. Come on. Old fashioned shove oh. match. Oh. oh! Did you see that corner impact? Look at these shoot kicks in the corner. Oh, here we go. Snap suplex. Oh, down goes Alto. Swiss death. Into a pin, but he's exhausted. Wow, what an amazing match that we saw between Chris and Altos. Both are amazing athletes, and I was just really impressed to see, you know, my Canuckadin go out there and kick some ass. Right, because that's how they whoop ass Canadian style. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Please put your hands together and welcome our next guest. We're talking about Chris Hollywood and Barry. Chris and Barry, good to see you. Welcome to the show. So excited to have the Canuckin' from Canada, Chris Hollywood, my hometown boy, and his beautiful manager, Barry. Welcome. Thank so glad you're both here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No problem. No problem it's at all. Thank you for having us on the show. Thank you for the invite. Great to be here. So excited. So excited. Whew. All right. You now that we take a deep breath. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, anyways. So, Chris, we had a chance to talk backstage a little. And you mentioned you had a rough time growing up on the street. So how did you get from there to Premier Wrestling? Well, it's a long story. One that begins with me growing up on the streets seeing all kinds of drug activity, gang violence, that kind of thing. And I had a beneficiary that fortunately was able to help me along the way. I was able to overcome some obstacles, enroll in college, find wrestling, and the rest, as you can say, is history. 
Wow. Yeah, I mean, I can I can totally, totally understand where you're coming from. I actually grew up in some pretty hard streets myself. I'm originally from San Diego, California. And so I witnessed everything that you did as well. I mean, it's pretty bad over there. So, I mean, it, it's great that, that you've honed into such an awesome and skilled wrestler. And I get so excited every time I see you come mm -hmm. out. And let's not tell the rest of the roster, but uh, I think you might be one of my favorite wrestlers. It'll be our secret. No worries. I mean, you it's know, not it's... like there's millions of people watching this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's great that you were exactly. taking, you were able to take something so negative that happened to you and turn it into a positive. Yeah, absolutely. So, Barry, so how did you and Chris like meet? Do do you enjoy representing him? Uh, well, that's actually a funny story. Uh, I grew up on the streets too. I was growing up on the streets of Detroit. And it was bad. And pull myself out of it. I started working with like girls and boys clubs, that kind of thing. And we ended up uh, going on a trip and ended up same college Chris was at. And he was there helping teach kids moves and whatever. And we met then. And then the last season when I came and watched premiere, uh, we ran into each other again and kind of sat down, talked, thought, found out we had the same goals, same aspirations. And uh, yeah. Decided to start working together, and it's been great representing him. He's he's such an amazing wrestler. Wow, that's that's awesome. I mean, the fact that Chris, you would you would take your time and your your skills to help out kids. I mean, that's that's amazing. That's uh, I'm a loss for words here. Wow. So, <clears throat> Chris, so you were drafted over to Overload. How have uh, how have things been for you so far? Well, there's been ups, there's been downs, there's been things I've been proud of, there's been things that I've been disappointed in, but overall it's been a great experience. Well, you know, it's always nice to be on the better show, too, of Overload, but maybe I'm just biased. No, I, I kind of agree with you. I thought you would. <laughs> 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 so um yeah speaking of goals and and uh you know aspirations do you have any future aspirations set or perhaps any major goals well i think anybody's major goal when they get in the business is to become the best to become the champion to become the one that the face that runs the place, you could say. And anyone that tells you any differently would be straight out lying to you. But other than that, my goal from day to day, match to match, is to be the best representative, to be a role model for those out there and to show them that even though they may be in a bad situation, that their situation doesn't dictate who they are and what their future is. Huh. Very well said. Very well said. So with that said, do you have a message for your fans or perhaps are your eyes set on anyone in particular? I have a few people that I have my eye on. Obviously the champion is the major focus. And other than that, I have my eye on people that I feel I can learn from people like Danny Thunder, people like the ASL himself. I think it would be an honor to wrestle them. Oh, definitely, man. I got my popcorn ready. If you're going to set that up, we are so there. I mean, we have to be there anyways be on the same show. Oh, right? Definitely, right. definitely, yeah. But that would be a lot of fun, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome, man. I'm so glad that you guys were able to come on the show today, that we could get to know a little bit more about you. And, and just thanks. Thank you to everybody that was on the show today. We're talking about Chris and Barry. And, of course, we have Danny and Sabrina. Thank you all for being on the show today. Really appreciate it. I think it was fun. Wow. All but Sabrina. Now, now, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. So that's our show for today. I would like to invite everybody to check out our website, 
premier minus sign wrestling dot com make sure since you're watching this video to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you could be notified of all future shows we will see you next week right here on overtude until then take care of one another be safe and we'll see you next time peace out don't forget to keep the party going bye with over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martell Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose.